So, all right, YouTube, we're here for a second league of Jun. This one is a donation deck list for the Barrero Brothers Wrestling. So if you want to um, donate $10 to them, they are wrestlers from Canada that I learned to play Magic with that are trying to get on the Canadian national team. I believe one of them is qualified. Another one of them is working on it. Um, you know, they have a lot of expenses. Canada doesn't cover everything that they do for training and uh, travel. So if you would like to donate $10, I will play your deck through a league and it goes to a good cause. Tonight we raised 10, that's what this deck list, this right here is going to be for tonight. So yeah, donate to, uh, to a good cause if you have the extra money. Actual wrestling, you can, you can check them out here below. I, I couldn't get the hyperlink in there for some reason when I made the plug. All right, um, I'm going to keep and I'm going to play a Raging Ravine. Yeah, they're Greco-Roman wrestlers. Uh, Bronco Blah, thank you very much for the subscription, for the YouTube subscription. I appreciate it. You can also find all of my streams on YouTube. Aired Mesa, eh? Aaron Mesa. I'm going to Inquisition my opponent. I don't want to get my tongue away from Lightning Bolted. Because I think we're playing against Burn. Nope, I was wicked wrong there. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Houston, we're dead. Yep. We're going to get Cheerioed out. At least this game. Might have been better to take the retract, to be honest. But then, like, if somehow they physical, fizzle, I can't kill the other one next turn. So they can just Noxious Revival it back on top, which isn't great. I have to kill it, like, in their draw step. All right, they retracted. Houston, we have a problem. All right, well, there's two retracts down. Maybe they just won't have it. You never know. You can always hope. We could just also not sit through this and just assume that they have it. They have a they have a noxious revival. So like all right, for for my sanity I'm going to concede. Obviously, if I was in a tournament, I would play this out. They have a noxious revival for another retract. I'm just I'm just not going to not going to sit through that. So I want this. I basically I don't think I want Bloodbraid Elf. Like, I just don't think that I want to have a four mana card in my deck. Too, too slow. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go like this. But everybody else seems slow. There's, there, maybe I can like Fulminator Mage them. Do something, I don't know, might slow. I guess, uh, Fulminator Mage is garbage too. Whatever, I'm just gonna have three Blood Raid Elves and maybe like Blood Raid Elf will end the game quickly. Yeah, they're Greco Roman wrestlers. You can check out their Facebook page. Alright. Um, we're going to keep this. It'd be nice to have a discard spell, but we don't have one. Well, I'm kind of glad we don't have a discard spell now. Unfortunately. We kind of have to play off curve or we could die. But it would be nice to just jam my Bob on two. But, like, we can't do that. Overround him. That was nice that we hit a tap land there. 
So we found a good spot in our curve to do that. <clears throat> but now we can go like Bob, Bolt, Bob, Is John a real deck? I I don't want to like it's not a deck that I would choose to play at a large event, but you know it's it's something that people like to play, and it's fun. I, I find this deck I find these decks fun to play, so I enjoy playing I enjoy playing John. I I have never registered John at a big event, but sometimes I just like Cascaden. It's not a tier one deck. But, you know, it's a deck that's one in, one in open. All right, well, we can't bolt that. We can't, I mean, we can't, oh shit, I can't. I didn't think about this. Oh my God, am I dead. Holy shnikes. I would I would agree that it's a it's a very fair deck at the moment. Do I have to fatal push this and bolt this? Then hope that they can't go off. I guess I can just do that on my turn. I would like to not have to fatal push these monks, but like there's there's definitely a world where I have to do that. But I would love to draw Tarmogoyf and then go. All right, Assassin's Trophy, Dark Confidant. All right, well now I'm just gonna play another Bob. Bolt this. How's it going, Cody Jones? How are you? I should have attacked. I was looking over the chat there. Alright, so there's a Paradise Mantle. I'm actually kind of in a bit of a fight. Not going to do anything here because they can just go off in the second main phase. I do think I'm going to push one of these end of turn though. With drawing so many car extra cards, I do want to get rid of these. Black Wave Post is nice. Tarmor Wife is good. Tarmor Wife is really a really nice draw because it just kind of protects us from this monk here. I love to draw me some cards though. So I'm just gonna play this tapped. <clears throat> uh, F pause. Were you in the uh, in the the Super League Discord there? I feel like I, I feel like I recognize your name from somewhere. All right. All right. Well, we're just gonna kill this as soon as we get priority back. I mean, yeah, nice. I thought I recognized your name there. How is that going? Is that that like that gonna? Is that looking like it's gonna fire up? All right. Well, I will block here. Okay. Do you have like a gut shot? <laughs> so lit. All right. Well, I'm just gonna swing. 
Okay, they just scoop it up. All right. You guys ever? I see. Um, I see Edgar with a new Karn. Yeah. I have not played a lot of modern since new Karn became a big part of it. Okay, so does having monastery mentor change anything? Does it make this at all worth it? Like, it's collect collective brutality is probably better than Blood Ray Elf. Because it kills Monastery Mentor. It can, like, get rid of our other crap. I can buy that. The Jenda still thing. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I just, I enjoy playing Jenda. I always have fun doing it. So, that's what we're doing tonight. Dude, I'm just going to board in, like, a random eight. Like, maybe I can, like... These Blood Bay Elves just have to, are just, are not what I want to be doing. Like, maybe Grudge does something. Because I can't even push it out of the format. I would agree. Decks that do not interact on the stack probably have a really difficult time. Alright, so this is just like, hope they have one piece. We just die to a ley line. I mean, and we have the same problem, but all right. Well, there's a there's a removal spell. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, not being able to interact on the stack or kill your opponent quickly seems like bad. There are no thrones in the list. We are thronless, Cody Jones. All right, let's get this fetch land here. I bowl the first hand because if they have a ley line. If they have Leyline into Dude without any removal, I'm just dead, right? <clears throat> Unless I'm just crazy and I missed. Oh, wow. That's why I suck these kinds of decks. I don't even want to play my Dark Confidant. And I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to hold out one more turn for a land. So they don't have that many lands in their deck. All right, one land, come on. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I if I tap out, then like, I'm basically saying like, you got it. If I I think I think that if I have this fatal push and I do draw a land then I'm I'm gonna it's gonna be really hard for me to lose. So I don't know. Never punish was the correct play all along. Alright, we're just gonna play Liliana and go up and I'm gonna discard I'm gonna get a forest just because we have Bob in play. I'm gonna discard just the thought sees. Saw the crease on top of my deck. Yeah, you got it. All right, well, let's just get chugging along with our bab. Yes. Yeah, I understand what you're, what you're, uh, where you're coming from there. Well, now we're, we're, again, we're kind of in a situation where I have to rip. But I mean, worse comes to worse, I get two activations of Liliana. I kind of want to go Liliana plus Liliana plus. Play a tap land. Because let's just say for some reason, let's say they have another dude, then they only get the dude and then two, they have two looks at another equipment. So I think we're just gonna go up and up here. And I'm gonna discard, I'm gonna discard this in the land. 
I'm going to keep the Collective Brutality in case they have um, Monastery Vendor shenanigans. I just have to get this game like to the point where there's the least amount of resources possible. All right, you get two cards. Like this is the best I could do. All right. Come on, Bob. Scavenging news. Twilight Miner. I think I'm just ditching. I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to ditch the Twilight Mire and play Bob Ooze. No, I'm stupid. No, 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 no. Oh, I almost had a minute there. I almost had a moment where I lost my mind. So let me go up here first. Yeah, no, I, I almost, I almost had like a like a freak out there. So what is this? Fourteen. This is currently three damage. Play this four. It's six. Six six two. All right. Yeah, no, I almost had a moment there. <clears throat> oh, shoot. We should cut this Twilight Mire just because of how hard it makes to cast the cards on Modo. Ooze and land first. Yeah, you're correct. You're correct, Zach. Yeah, Leyline's annoying, for sure. I don't think I'm going to activate Ooze, because it's Noxious Revival an instant. Right, Noxious Revival is an instant. Repeal that. Uh, okay. Noxious, it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me just, exclamation point, card. Noxious Revival. Yeah, it is an instant. Okay. Alright, so the opponent puts Mox up on the stack and concedes. Deal. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. more Thrun. The problem is, is that Thrun is like, Thrun's not even, what does Thrun do anymore, Cody? They're all playing like Terminus and crap. I guess they're not all playing Terminus. All right, I'm going to keep this. It seems like this where I almost want like a basic mountain. Just to know I have it in my deck, in my deck to make me feel all like warm and snuggly. Show some respect. Oh, we get some hot mirror action here. All right, so you want to know, like, the best way to lose the mirror is to play a threat into Liliana when you're on the draw. So my opponent's probably going to jam their own Liliana. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I feel stupid now. On a scale of one to stupid, 
That's what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to two for one myself here. So I have to get rid of this thing. I thought we were playing the mirror and just like something that's really bad in the mirror is to like just play into Liliana. I don't think they get the card, but the land, which is nice. Oh, they still get the land. What a tilt. Oh man, they get a land. Try like shame concede. I would have thought that it would have been like countered, but I guess that was just me not thinking. Guys, am I am I like a scrub modern player for knowing for not knowing that the Lotlith Troll regeneration assassins trophy thing? Epaws is probably like, man, I wish this guy would have been in the Super League. He's washed. Get on Arena. No, I was going to go Trophy into Push Bob. But now I probably just have to like... The problem is if I bolt this thing and he's got a million creatures, then like... I guess he needs a million creatures. I'm just going to bolt this thing. He discards his entire hand. I guess it would have, if I were Inquisitioned, it would have been better here. Yes, I should have Inquisitioned. All right. All right, that didn't work how I wanted it to. Uh, how do I win? I probably need to find Liliana the Veil. So I'm gonna go get. I, I should have got a should have double black, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, we're gonna get a forest. We still can get a pain free one here. So the Neo Form deck is like it plays. Um, like a one mana card that generates mana if you sacrifice it. It plays Simeon Spirit Guide, and then it plays Allosaurus Rider and like Summoner's Pack and stuff. It, it's pretty sweet. It's a deck that's probably gonna get pretty solid. Holy shit! Death Touch. Wow. Wow. This has not been. At least I need to kill this. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this though. I need to rip like assassin's trophy. I guess we need to cascade into assassin's trophy now. This is. It's got hexproof. Jesus. All right. It does feel like Jen is it probably is. But like, you know, we got we got meme done. Alright. Um See I could board in more removal, but I have shown that I could that I misuse my removal. So is that a good idea? These have to be kinda of garbage. This is probably kinda of garbage. Probably in all in all reality the spell bombs are good. I'm sitting here like, if I boarded more removal, I'm just going to misuse it. Yeah, that, that would be a nice little edict. Uh, I think this is what I'm going to do. Like, like the elves are kind of loose. I mean, this, this, I mean, Delve is still a cast, so I have to like use this at awkward times. But I think it's what we're gonna do. I could, like the push still isn't that great. What would we like to play first? 
You're goddamn right. I'm going to slam this Nihil Spell Bomb on turn one. What does that Delve Guy even cost? Soul Flare? I'm going to get that in there so I can see that at all times here. Um, I'm going to have to shock myself at some point, but I don't have to do it yet. I don't really want to shock myself if I can get a, if I can get away with it, but I guess leaving more having more green is good for scavenging ooze. So maybe I should have just get stomping around there. Come on, don't do it to me, dude. Traverse. Traverse is the Ulvenwald. I could have played Tarmogoyf, but like, I'm already kind of looking to keep this. Well, I guess the graveyard's going to be small, large on our end. Maybe playing Goyf was better there to start beating down. Bob is cooler, which I'm kind of in the market for. All right, so now I can go get a forest and play Goyf and still have the the activation of Spell Spellbomb up. Oh, nothing. Okay. So the Soul Flare cost four black black. I don't know what's going to happen. Kind of excited. Okay, so this is three cards in the graveyard. It's okay. That's the link for the Barrera Brothers page. All right, well, that's nice. So here's the big question. I think I just play two more Tarmogoyfs. Or I could play one Tarmogoyf. Actually, no, so I can just play one Goyf and have Lightning Bolt and still keep my Tarmogoyf as a 4-5 because the Bolt will be in my graveyard and the Spell Bomb will be in my graveyard. Okay, so should I, sh I should actually just do this right now. I think, because they can just hard cast it right now and that's still kind of a problem. So yeah, I'm just going to do this right now with the first one. And I'm only firing this off because it's the first one. It's not like I have two. If I if I didn't have two, I, I would be more conservative with this. But like this means that they can't even cast it. And it's like if I can freely make it so they can't put it on the stack, I probably should. Well, let's roll, okay. Alright, well I'm just gonna attack with both of my goyfs. Generate the troll. Okay. Play scavenging ooze. Just gonna be conservative here. Just, you know, hold down the fort. We have lethal next turn. Unless he can gain some life somehow. Or put another blocker in play. I guess I could have played around that with Tarmogoyf. 
Okay, so we have to mind our P's and Q's here, because no matter what our opponent does, like unless they have like a, a land that doesn't give us priority. Oh, they can just do it. So what does this do? Flying, double strike, vigilance, trample. Okay. Let that out. So I'm gonna cycle my spell bomb first. And I think I'm gonna go fetch a black source to do it. Oh gosh. I guess I just have to lightning bolt this thing and then hope to peel a Liliana. Oh man, do you have do you have enough creatures to ditch? No. Oh no. Now I think I'm drawn dead. What a beating. All right, double strike, flying haste, indestructible, lifelike, and trample. I don't think I have an out, but this this will this will at least find me it. I mean, it gives me a better chance at finding it, I guess. All right. What a beating. What a beating. Our opponent beat the shit out of us. Two games to nothing. I even had a spell bomb. It didn't matter. <clears throat> okay. One and one, we can still get. We can still do the four one dream. I'm a fan of the four one dream. So we're just gonna we're gonna jund, jund our opponents hard for the next two games. There's a, there's a deck that came, a thread about Popper that came up here. I have to read this. There's a really cool thread here by the Maverick Girl about rigging games in Popper. Huh. It's interesting. All right, we have a discard spell into Bob, which is what we're looking for in a Blood Raid Elf to clean everything up. Playing some blue white control action. I kind of want to just take this path to exile because we're going to draw a lot of cards off of this thing. Even though the sad thing is that this Teferi actually prevents us from cascading, which is a little annoying. It also kind of sucks that we drew two basics against blue white. But such is life. My opponent opts into a uh, terminus or a 
for a path, I'm going to hurl. Just actually going to hurl. Okay, what did I do? Put a card on top. Back to the quest. Inquisition, that's a nice draw. So now we go Inquisition. Inquisition 1 to Fairy. And then we Inquisition the. Probably the Narset. Just take away all the two for ones that this deck has. Everything to get them back in it. They kept a card on top that wasn't a land, which is odd. I can hear my dog slurping water from all the way out here. He sucks at drinking water. He just sprays it everywhere. He doesn't actually drink it. All right, well, I'm just gonna cast my elf. We're gonna get a Dovin's Veto out of our opponent's hand, but, but we just want, we just wanna like apply pressure. And I guess, no, I don't want to cast this because it lets them go snap path. And I'm just going to attack with this. I'm not going to trade Snapcaster for Dark Confidant at this point. It's a fairly sad cascade, if I do have to say so myself. So there's, uh, well, we got rid of the, we got rid of the Narset, right? Yeah. All right, Rage Ravine is not bad, but we're not really doing very much else. We almost got Jace, Dovin's Veto, Teferi. And that's all that I know of. We have a lot going on. We don't have a lot going on over here, so we're in a little bit of trouble. So they can bounce this, but it doesn't really do them anything. Okay, they're just gonna brainstorm. So this is them looking for help. The nice thing is, is that it lines up also really well with this Teferi, because this will have four counters on it. So I'll just go shock myself. Fire this up, leave up an Inquisition. Inquisition will take Dovin's Veto. There's probably gonna be a Teferi coming down, if I had to guess. Or like a, uh, maybe a, uh, a uh, that there. I'm just going to take the Dovin's Veto. I think I'm about to get Terminus. Well, the Teferi is probably on top. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Veto. I'm going to be able to deal with the Vidillion Click, but I could be getting Terminus also. Nope, they... Looks like they hit the Teferi on top. Their top card's like a removal spell then plusing the Teferi into that is pretty solid. More Raging Ravines is not really what we're looking for. We're gonna fire up here. Just attack. We'll push. We'll push the click. Oh, they have Cryptic. Oh, this sucks. I, I, I haven't played around Cryptic with Manlands in a while, and I just completely zoned out about that. Yep, that was a mess up. Okay, 
There's a colonnade. It's been a while since I've had to do that. So we know they have click to fairy X. So what do I have left? I've got a, I've got I have lands left to fetch, which is good. Get a stomping ground. Probably should have played a black leaf cliffs. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna attack both of these. at Teferi because I want my lightning bolt to finish Teferi off if like they have a path for one of these I should have played my Rage Ravine too I'm all over the place yeah so like they path here I will get a basic And then I'm going to bolt the Teferi and I'm just going to play a Tarmogoyf. And just hope, don't wrath me, bro. We're going to get wrath. No. Oh, wow. They had a stop on their draw step, but they didn't wrath. Oh, it's a Jace. Okay. Well, Jace isn't great for the home team. All right, well, there's an elf. So that's going to get taken in our draw step here for sure. All right, I want to play this to give me revolt. God, if they have a Terminus on top, I'm just so boned. But I don't think I'm... I keep forgetting to play my Raging Ravine. So I'm going to send both of these at Jace, this one at my opponent. They discard Wrath of God. Oh my god, I'm about to lose my entire board. Alright, Snapcaster Mage targeting Path to Exile. I'm not gonna let him block, because we're getting we're getting this uh we are getting this Jace off the battlefield here. Probably paths my Bob. Path Tarmogoyf. Now I don't want to crack my fetch land so that I'm dead to a, um, so that I'm dead to a Blood Red Elf flip. Yeah. Bob's on their team. All right, we have to make sure we do this before they declare attacks so that even if they have logic not, this is counter this is tapped. I think I'm about to get Vendillion cuz I we know the Vendillion click was in the mix and they haven't hit a fetch land yet. So they're definitely going to cast this click. Target me. See nothing.
All right, you sack a creature. I attack you. I play Raging Ravine. Then we just have to hope to not flip Bloodbraid Elf. We have two Bloodbraid Elves left in the deck. Don't flip an elf. Don't do it to me, Bob. Okay, nice. So let's tick this up right now. I'm going to ditch my Thoughtseize. Nice. Okay, so against blue light, I do not have a lot of good cards. We're gonna bring in these fulminator mages. I'm gonna board out these fatal pushes. Hunt master is probably okay. Cut a lightning bolt. What does collective brutality do? Collective brutality hits. Sweepers and Cryptic Commands. It doesn't hit Planeswalkers, which sucks. I wonder if it's better than Light. I don't know if it's better than Lightning Bolt, to tell you the truth. <coughs> Both of them sort of have reach. I don't know. I think this is what we're going to do. Maybe Scavenging is bad. I feel like smart people have before have told me that scavenging use is bad against blue white. Right, I'm just gonna do this because we know what this is gonna be. We don't know what the other lands are gonna be. Discard spell. All right, so opponent has a day of judgment. So they play another colonnade. I'm just gonna go fetch a. Even though I hate to do it, well, now I don't have to do it. Play a little Goyf. Let's get in there for a little bit of damage. Okay, so they drew that. So we're going to cast our our uh, Liliana before combat so that they have a way to kill it. Um, our Tarmogoyf uh, grows. So we get in another point of damage. I'm going to ditch a land. Keep as many resources as possible. Yo, this Teferi is gonna be a problem though. Another colonnade. So I know I know the four cards in my opponent's hand. This Teferi is gonna put us in the squeeze. We got a wrath now, right? Wait, I don't have to. Ditch this. We ditch Day of Judgment. So we have another removal spell. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna play Blood Elf. They, they might have another um Wrath, but we still have a pretty decent follow-up. So we have Scavenging Use plus Liliana, plus if we cascade into a spell. Um, target peer. All right, let's see if we can get something here. So we're gonna get a crypt command out of our opponent. You know, bounce my Liliana. You just bounce my Tarmogoyf. Leaf. No matter what, they're not really gonna have a good. Oh, I guess they just bounce that. Yep. Into Fairy Tux Tarmogoyf. Unfortunately, we have to shuffle away our Tarmogoyf. I'm just going to get a basic. We get, at least we get our opponent's last card. And it's, it's going to be difficult for them to answer the Liliana and protect the, scout, the um, 
Teferi. They actually just need a they need to hit a land drop to do that. No, I can get my. No, I messed up because now this gets cryptic commanded. I punted. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played against that. So now they tap me there. Now I'm just dead. If I, if I would have just. Yeah, that's 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 frustrating. Let's just eat all of my opponent's graveyard. Yeah, this scavenging is not great. A lightning bolt would be nice. I think I'm gonna board my lightning bolts back in. I'm gonna cut these scavenging uses. All right, so my opponent drew a snapcaster. So we're just going to untap. All right. The best I can do. So now I can trade with a colonnade, which I don't really want to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass. Like, this is the only thing that I can. It's been fun. Like I, I enjoy playing Jun, but I'm getting I'm getting a little beat up at the moment. We won the first game, so I'm about to get Field of Ruined. All right, I will eat your Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm also just gonna eat, I'm gonna eat the opt right now because it's the only instant in the graveyard that really matters. The purge is also matters, but like, so maybe I shouldn't have eaten anything. I'm not gonna use it again until I untap though. At least this Liliana is only dealing damage to my opponent. All right, fire up colonnade. So now I just have to hope that my opponent doesn't have a one mana answer or a chump blocker. Because the Teferi makes mana. Now they can have a cryptic command. I'll just eat this now. All right, well, that's a nice draw. So we need the elf. And right click concede, condemn. Oh, I should have eaten more things from my opponent's graveyard. That's all right, we'll just get rid of this. I mean, we still have to deal with both of the colonnades. Which is not going to be easy. We've got two more trophies and another. Um, I could just also field my red source. Now I'm out of red sources. Gross. It's not like my best hit isn't my best top deck isn't even a top deck. I'm a, I, I probably messed that up along the way. 
A Tarmor Wife is what we want here. Just something to be able to race these colonnades. Alright, well. This is just, we're just gonna keep this around. What we were looking for. All right. I mean, we're kind of in business. Opponent gets to wasteland me. Beginning of combat. It's interesting my opponent didn't tap in such a way to be able to still use the field. They might just be saving it for a red source. Yep, Snapcaster Mage Condemn. Man, that's scavenging the stock. I'm gonna board in lightning bolt. I'm gonna cut those. At least I gained a million life there, but still. Another colonnade? Gross. Folks is sweet buy box colonnades though. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do that last turn. I mean they probably just like made a mistake or something. They were frustrated. Sex me. All right, well, actually, I'm gonna do this right now while my opponent's tapped out. Return this, shock this. This at least buy me some time. My opponent has to have nothing here. Like if they have nothing, then I've got a chance. <laughs> Pun master is not bad. I'm actually just gonna play it. It gets me on the board. I can just play the full mirror mage next turn. All right. Yep, firing up the colonnade. All right, well, there's another thing at least. It's actually enough. Might be enough pressure. I mean, make it so like a collective brutality would be lethal because I can only get to six. But I can make it so it takes two attacks for the colonnade to kill me. I need to make sure that I let the colonnade attack. So that he can't like double act, like activate into another one. That's a nice draw. So I'm not even going to use my scavenging ooze because I want to be able to like have this and get something out of their graveyard. This has been a sweet game. How's it going, uh, um, 
Tyler? Seer Visions. Okay. My opponent t puts two cards on top. I'm definitely going to trophy them. Let's get this here. Now I'm going to gain a life. So I'm going to go hit this, hit their Snapcaster Mage, go to five, and then I'm going to end a turn. I'm going to hit this Colonnade to shuffle their deck. I get punished a little bit for the order that I did this in, if my opponent has a Snapcaster Mage, which it looks like they might have one. Because if I'd done this the other way, I could have eaten, I guess it still doesn't matter. They're just logic nodding it, okay. Come on, Blood Raid Elf. How many have I left in my deck? I have three Blood Raid Elves. Three blood red elves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is how we do it, baby. I'm gonna cast it. I mean you don't you don't put Bad cards in your deck to not... They go opt into Terminus, I'm going to hurl, though. You know, I haven't seen a Terminus this whole time, so they probably just don't have it. Got him. Like, <laughs> like, yes, we got super lucky there, but we had only seen one Blood Red Elf in the top 27 cards of our deck. So we were due. Luck does not exist. Yeah. I mean, like, obviously that was a lucky draw, but we were due. Dude, them sides are getting it tonight, Lawrence. Let me tell you what. Hopefully we can get the 3-0 here. Or we can get the 4-1. I will be very happy if we 7-3 playing Jump. Probably be happy if we 6-2 as well. All right, we got the old, we got the draw. Lauren, should I sign out Scavenging Ooze against Blue White? Like, this card just do absolutely nothing. Like, I, I cut, it was either like this or Bolts or not bring in like Collective Brutality. Mm. Could have fetched the basic there. One and two are fine. Okay. Um, I really just want to take this Serum Visions. And I can go get Stomping Ground, and then my man is fine. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Serum Visions. Spreading Seas is annoying, but so is the Serum Visions. I don't want them to Serum Visions into like a Lightning Bolt and then be able to kill it. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to fetch Stomping Ground with this, so I have black. I have green, red, and black because of the Twilight Mire. Yeah, it is. All right, well, now it doesn't matter. So... I'm going to get a green land... I don't know what to fetch. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I should have done this. I should, have just, I should have probably just played my Twilight Mire. I'm just gonna get an Overgrown too. No, I'm gonna get a Stomping Ground still because if I get a Stomping Ground, it doesn't matter. My mana is still online, and then this can pick up the pieces here.
I was just confused. Like, I was like, oh, man, I think I started to, like, actually think about my fetch line. I was like, there's more to go on with this. Yeah, it's the whole, like, it's the whole, like, you know, you've got two fetch lands and they have a wasteland. Yeah, I think I, I definitely didn't want to play the Twilight Mire. That's that's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to fetch a basic. Oh, they drew a helix. Well, now I probably should just go get a basic and K command them. And just return my Dark Confidant and just like settle in here for a long one. <clears throat> they have, I know, three out of five. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to get a basic now. Like, I don't, like, it, it lets them. Um, let's them spreading seize my, my, uh, red, my green source, but like we have the twilight mire. Wouldn't be surprised if they ditch like shadow of doubt. I mean, I don't, I don't know what their hand looks like. So they just a scald in turn. And then I'm just going to jam this blood right elf right down my opponent's throat this turn. Alright, you got it. So, I actually kind of want to play Tarmogoyf Dark Confidant because my opponent doesn't have a creature in play, so my Cascade isn't going to be as good. So that's what I'm going to do. Like, I want there to be at least be... Oh, shit. God damn it. I just, like, when I was talking my lines out, I was like, this is a green land. This is a green land. This isn't a green land. God damn it. <sighs> Swear to God, if you kill my Dark Confidant, I'm going to be so pissed. My Bob dies, I'm going to just, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. I don't have a timer away from play. Don't do it to me. Swear to God, this is a Snapcaster Mage? Okay. Oh, now I don't have red mana. Now I don't have green mana. How do these all get so bad? All right, well, there's mana. This all got so bad so fast for me. How sick would it be if I had a Tarmogoyf to attack with right now as well? Well, what's happening to me is that I suck, first of all. And my opponent's just spreading them over there. They're telling me to spread them. There's a no care for what, for me at all. It sucks so much that they top deck that, uh, that they got that lightning helix. Yeah, dude. Fucking Belladar Guardian the shit out of one of my cards. How does this work? Can you respond to this? No, it just retargets. Well, at least we got some. At least we got green mana now. All right, so what are the odds that I have to cascade in a way to kill this? Or I just die? Can I can I manipulate my mana like a professional to be able to do more than one thing? Or, or am I like not that good?
Let's see if I can do this. I don't have a fetchable fucking red land. Holy shit. I'm gonna have like a breakdown here. I'm just like actually gonna have a mental breakdown. All right, green right here. Things that are happening to you in my jam. So I want to, I only want to do. Dude, how sick would it have been if we'd had that timer wave from play a while ago? Now we can't even play Blood Bright Elf next turn. Holy shnikes. My opponent's probably just laughing at me. Like, they're just sitting there and they're laughing at me. They're like, I bet that guy's not even six foot tall. He's probably like lame and married. I can't even I can't even deal with that. Like, you just get a free Lightning Helix in the face of my Snapcaster Mage. Or my Scavenging Ooze. This is just bad. I definitely like getting taken out to dinner before something like this happens to me. I swear to God, if I find a Red Land... Oh, I can't even cast that. This is just depressing. I hope this provides some solid entertainment for some people. I can take out both of their... I swear to God, you path my scavenging ooze. Then snap path my tarmogoyf. How did this game... So, like, on turn four, I was like, wow, I have so many different ways to win here. I should be in really good shape. And then I went to just, like, not having a chance at all. I can't even cast my Bloodbraid Elf with that thing in play. You gonna pick up your Snapcaster Mage? Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of Shadow of Doubt. Let's get rid of Serum Visions. Yeah, what a combination there that was. <coughs> well, I guess I just bolt this Snapcaster Mage and attack this thing. God, this Teferi just absolutely browns my Blood Braid off so bad. I can't even double spell. All right, I'm just going to bolt this thing. I was having like a mental breakdown over here. I don't understand how this game got so bad. Like, I was so good. I, I was literally sitting here thinking like, all right, like I can plan on my turns. I can be mana efficient. I can set up my cascade. And then I was like, no, can't do that at all. Yeah, like. I didn't even he, he's bouncing his fucking spreading seas. That's how bad my opponent is putting it to me at the moment.
Like, I have a Tarmogoyf in play, and he's, like, bounce spreading seas. I should just concede for my own self, like, my own self-respect. I said I was gonna like stop drinking on the weekend on the week during the week, but like this might Oh my god. Alright, there's a raging ravine. I refuse to play this Bloodbraid Elf until I can do something with it. Just for, like for principle at this point. Could cast that on my turn, bro. You're not even using your planeswalker effectively. You got it, dude. I feel like the fact that my opponent's deck hasn't won yet. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, fuck you. All right, all right, you know, I don't have to put myself through that. All right, what do they got going on here? I want to fuck with my opponent's lands. They're going to sit here and, holy shnikes. I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck. Like part of me just wants to hit submit. Because, like, I don't want too much removal. I kind of want threats. I want to be able to mess with the sideboard. With the... Like, maybe one of these is not good. Maybe I want to get a little more mid-rangey. This can, like, pick off small creatures. Full mirror is really good because the deck is pretty landlight. Okay. Alright, fuck these scavenging oozes. That was just wild. All right, we're gonna mulligan, we got one land. All right, we'll keep this one. We'll put this on the bottom. Want me some lands. This deck might be lightning, this plays lightning helix, so my tar wife is just gonna get reamed here. Alright, I just mulliganed on the play against, like, card advantage, dirtle dot deck. I think I'm just going to play out my time life here. And we're just going to hope they don't bolt it. Wall of Omens in their deck. I'm gonna push the shit out of that thing. I still might push it. Yeah, dude, we're on the beatdown train here. Then I'm gonna go get Overgrown Tomb so my opponent can't cut me off a of color.
Yeah, we're doing it. My Dark Confidant's going to live. Yeah, dude, just grow my Tarmogoyf. I feel like I have a personal vendetta against my opponent now. Like after they beat me so badly the first game, I feel like angry. All right, dude. Let me get myself a swamp so I can cast a Liliana through Spreading Seas. Yeah, dude, joke's on you. Right, come on, don't have a Snapcaster Mage. I just want All right, that's good at least. I think this deck would struggle against a, like Liliana the Veil. Like if I have a Liliana the Veil draw, God, don't do that to me, you son of a bitch. Okay. All right, we're just going to go bolt. We're going to push this. I'm going to bolt my opponent's face, and we're going to fire up Ranging Ravine, and then we're going to get in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call turning the fucking corner. John, in my experience, is Sahili's worst matchup. And I just got absolutely destroyed. Is that lightning bolts lethal? I think it's go like spreading seas into. Split it. Do I get another turn? I did tap wrong, yeah. All right, nice. Submit. I kind of want to find room for this Huntmaster of the Fells, but I hit submit. All right. I would assume that they would struggle against this deck right here a lot. This card right here a lot, right? I would love if I could draw a discard spell on the first turn of the game. I didn't. I was going to get a Black Leaf Cliffs. Or a Blood Crypt, excuse me. And I'm not going to play my... I'm not going to expose my green source. Well, now I wish I would fetch a different land. Can we kill my dude? All right. Kind of leaves the door open for my Liliana. Thanks, Lawrence. I really appreciate how supportive you are. I really enjoy your company. I'm so tilted from like my previous game.
Yeah, dude. Don't kill my Tarmoy. Come on. Don't do it. Um... Do I want to do this right now? I'm gonna untap. Okay. Go get me a green. And then I'm gonna play this. I'm just gonna ditch the other Liliana. Now we have combo insurance. I could just ditch the trophy too. But they're stuck on land, so I don't want I don't really want to do that. This healing doesn't do anything, right? It kind of sucks that I have this here Colagon's command and they've path to exile both of my relevant things. Yeah, dude, do it. Okay. Minus. Bolt it. Got him. They can still do the stupid... I guess I should have... No, yeah, they have priorities, so I can... I can Get around this. Is that six mana? Yeah. Can you still bring that thing back? Like that? Did I do that right? I hope I did. That's a not a bad draw. Get that weak shit out of here. Awkwardly, I can't Colgon's command. He did get an extra draw. So Bolt in response to Felgar targeting Sahili. That's what I did, right? The, the, the first one. Am I crazy? But he got an extra draw. I have to look it over again. Because, like, it comes... So the first one comes in. And then... I'm just going to ditch that. I can't cast the Liliana right now. I can't cast the Bob, so I'm going to wait. I think I did it right. Maybe not. <clears throat> Yo, this spreading seas is rude. <clears throat> I could also do it right now while he's tapped out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do that. Like, I don't think my opponent can't kill me from here, I'm pretty sure. And if they can, like, good on you. What are they discarding? Got a Sahili out of them. Nice. All right, so I'm going to just plus... So Felidar is really nice to you and Felidar. You bottled. So Felidar. Okay, Snapcaster Mage is annoying. I should not have more than one Sahili post board. So I'm just not going to play my Dark Confidant. Because. 
Because if they hit a land, they get to just kill it anyways. And I would rather have my Dark Confidant than my Liliana because they have no cards. <clears throat> so, so the Felidar ETB is to reset the Sahili. You might assume the Felidar. You bolted before the copy entered the battlefield. The copy was going to target the Sahili anyway. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, you're right. I see what I did. All right, I'm going to take four life here to, to get this. Hopefully I didn't rip a removal spell. Throw it out the window, ladies and gentlemen. Into a tunnel lord. I'm just gonna hold both of them back here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested in keeping my like. I don't need to attack and then just like block. Like it's just stupid. Now they're kind of like even if they have a removal spell, it's difficult for them to use it here because the tarn wife will start beating down. A colonnade shot is is kind of important for my opponent. I guess I can actually just copy. Okay. All right, we're kind of going off here. God, another Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> Opponent Dirtles so hard. They just they create just like. Like, just enough of amount of advantage to make it, like, really annoying to play against what they're doing. This deck's annoying right now. But they just keep putting up, like, like I feel like I'm ahead, but they just keep putting up in just enough of a fight. Freaking Geist? Jesus. Okay. And okay. Yeah, they have a Geist. I can't even cast my Fulminar Mage to really have it do anything. Am I attacking with my Tarn Lord? If I remove this, I want to block here. Push the token. I think we're just holding. We're just in a holding pattern at the moment. Better than Sahili? Okay. I mean, you do have a lot of removal. God, these spreading seasons are super annoying. I'm gonna get a Snapcaster Mage if my opponent would wreck my day. My opponent, the opponent also has not drawn a land in the last like six turns. Like they haven't been. I was worried about them activating as Colonnade a while ago. I have another path. This is definitely like the cuckening. All right, so block, block, push, take four probably, play a Fulminator Mage. Can I afford, can I afford to keep this Dark Coffin on around? If I just go block, push, trophy, I go to seven. I feel like I need help. 
And I have a Fulminator Mage to check this. Whatever, dude. Greatness. I think I sideboarded out my scavenging uses too, so this might be just absolute shit. How much do the Snapcaster Mages matter? Is it better to go push Trophy, take two, but get this body off the board? And I might hit something off my draw? Yeah, I'm going to just trust that I'm going to hit something off my draw here. Like, I, I don't actually deal with a creature, which kind of sucks. But like, if I'm keeping this Bob around, I gotta, this Bobby's going have to gonna have to do work here. God, I can just I can I can feel like an electrolyze coming here. All right, another Bob, not great. Stomping ground, also not great. If I shock and go to five, I can't go to five with two dark confidants. So now I'm gonna try to go block, block, sack. Shadow of doubt. All right. All right, there's a land. My opponent just do that for a while. I didn't do anything. Okay. Maybe I was supposed to just push this like as bad as it feels, just deal with that thing. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Like, I'm in this really weird spot where I almost think that I have to just push up, like, I almost have to do Assassin's Trophy, a freaking wall of omens. Blackleaf Cliffs, like a professional. All right. Hey, sweetie. Give me one second. My wife just got back, so I'm going to go say hi. So we're gonna attack, then I'm gonna shoot this and bring back Bloodbred Elf. Oh shit, I didn't attack. God damn it. I, f I just messed, I just motored out of where my attack was. So I guess I'm just gonna upkeep, make them discard a card, return this Bloodbred Elf. It's probably better to just do it like this. Oh, they have a counter spell. Oh, Snapcaster Mage. That target lightning bolt is pretty bad for me. Okay.
Am I dead? I can't trophy my own thing. I probably do need to trophy one of these now, though. Just for mana considerations. Don't kill me, Bob. God, you're good to me, Bob. All right. Oh, I'm not going to cast that. Yeah, I know. I was hoping that it wasn't. I guess maybe I, sh I shouldn't have attacked there, but at least with this one. <coughs> All right. Put, put me out of my misery. What an odd set of games. Like, in each one of those games, I felt like I was going to win. And then I just didn't. That's just like how it's going to go there. We're here for the last match of the night. We've been going for about three hours and 40 minutes. Nice little Wednesday night stream. Hope you're all having a good time. This uh, turn one discard changes the entire dynamic. So was I just on the wrong end of all that? And then I just got destroyed in the first game because I'm an idiot. Um, this stream here is brought to you by a donation for the Barrero Brothers. They are up here. Um, so for $10, I will play your deck on stream. We're doing that for the rest of the month. So we've only got about eight or nine more days. So if you have a deck that you would like to see get a little more love, then donate $10 to that. And I will get to it as soon as I poss as soon as possible. I don't have any more leagues, any more decks in the queue right now. So I'd likely get to your list on Sunday. So all their information will be in the link below as well. Yeah, then the first game was just a complete mockery of like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Okay. Team Rocket, nice. Alright. Don't say such things. We have an absolutely fantastic hand against Dredge. Just kidding. We do have four pieces of graveyard hate to bring in. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to play Goyf. And do I want... I think I want to get an Overgrown Tomb. I just want as many green sources in play. So if I draw a Scavenging Ooze, it could be relevant. Triple Amalgam. Quadruple Amalgam. Shriekhorn. Creeping chill, okay. Well, no creature is nice. So I think I'm just gonna go destroy this, deal two damage to my opponent. And we're just gonna get like super aggro. And just, you know, maybe there's a chance we can kill them before they get to actually bring back all these. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. So four amalgams. 
It cracked my opponent for eight, which puts them to five. So if I like Blood Bright Elf into a burn spell, maybe I can not die. But the problem is that, oh gosh. Well, now they've got chump blockers. All right, all right, both teams tried hard. Both teams tried hard. Okay. All right, so we want our eight pieces of graveyard hate. We want to remove Liliana of the Veil. We want Anger of the Gods. Probably can get rid of Fatal Push. Well, probably Assassin's Trophy is worse than Fatal Push. I'm going to go with Huntmaster because it can just swing a race, I guess. I don't have any idea. Some people actually tell me Fulminator Mage isn't that bad because sometimes you can cut them off of a color. Like you can harass their green mana in the early game if they don't have a loam. I'm going to try it. I'm going to sideboard weird. Because I know Liliana's bad. I think Trophy's bad. And I'm pretty sure that like all of my removal just sucks. We have one hate card to another hate card. Oh shoot. No, I just clicked out of it. Ugh. I'm getting a little tired. We're getting towards the end of the stream here. So I'm just going to play another basic and get this in play off this one. So they have a 1-1 one, one in play, but that's not that bad. I'm going to let them dredge too. Like I'll wait until I can take out a more substantial like set of their graveyard. Well, I guess we'll just get rid of this now. <clears throat> okay, so they hit a chill, but that's it. So I can play Ooze with a green up. So I'm just gonna do that. I could Kologon's Command the Shriek Horn, but I don't know if that actually gets me anywhere. I don't wanna make them discard a card. It'd be nice to be able to return a Scavenging Ooze after they deal with it. Which appears like what they're going to do. Alright, I'm not going to use it. I mean, I guess I should have taken the Bloodstained Mire. Keeping up appearances doesn't really matter. Looks like this is not going to end well for the home team, if I had to guess. Alright, I'm just going to play this and play Bob. Next turn I can, or maybe it's better to just get the Kologon's Command going now so that I have more mana to use the with the scavenging use, yeah, I guess that was that was better to do. All right, they didn't really have anything too scary. I don't think I've been playing this very well. I mean, I, I missed my first. Like, I'm a little tired, and I missed my playing the spell ball on one, which would have been a better play. Oh, we got conflict conflagged.
we did draw a bunch of lands on top of that. All right, so I might get lucky here, and my opponent might not be able to get a lot going on because they are just dredging alone. They do have a looting. There's an amalgam. We just want to make it so they, they can't bring things back. That's really what we're worried about. They just, that's just like an all natural, just draw two, discard two. Oh, they don't have a land to bring back. And I actually can just eat everything now. All right, so I'm just going to return target creature, and then I'm just going to shock this thing here. Tomb. We have plenty of green mana to work with here. Play that Bob later. I'm just going to clean out my opponent's graveyard here. Just leave them with not a lot to do. So let's get rid of this. And then I kind of want to get rid of the Stinkweed Imp. But I think I'm okay with them dredging when I have a Scavenging Ooze. They have a Lightning Axe here. This is going to suck. They have an Axe. All right. So I could just eat. I kind of want to eat Imp, Loam, Bloodgast. Still doesn't really get me what I want to do though. I could eat. Because looting lets them draw two, discard two, which lets them get going again. I'm not really sure what the take is here. I'm going to take looting, I think. Make them naturally hit a land to bring back the blood ghast. Let's take the looting, and then I'm going to take the imp. And the loam. Make them take draw steps. Cast Imp. Not casting Inquisition. <clears throat> All right, don't hit a land. All right, scavenging moves. Nice. So now we're in good shape, I think. Not going to attack with that. So let me get rid of this, and then I'll eat it. Yeah. Nice. Whew. All right, one more game. 
for the night, and then we're gonna call it. Hopefully, we can turn turn out the right way for us. Whew. All right, this is the mulligan. No ooze, no graveyard eight. I think this is a mulligan too. No ooze and no graveyard hate. I think I can do better the five. Yeah, we have an ooze. Just in the bottom. I think we're gonna get overgrown two in Thoughtseize. Is there anywhere you know you can tell me? I really, I haven't paid attention to it in, in long enough to really give you a good set. All right, I'm gonna get Overgrown Tomb here. It's been a while since I've played a lot of Modern. All right, let's get rid of this Cathartic Reunion. They're gonna Dredge Thug. Oh, I'll do it right here. I, I still haven't fixed that up. We're in a decent spot. Let's play Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf will hold down the four at least. And then we can go scavenging use eat conflagrate. Alright, so there's cheap. Even Ben Jones. But Tron's good. Tron is really good at the moment. So I probably have to eat this conflagrate. It's more important like a blood gas because I need to keep my scavengers around. So, well, there's a second one. I'm just gonna get a forest. Play this ooze. And then I'm going to wait for my opponent. Could have attacked there, but wait for my opponent to do something here. Let's see what they dredge. I kind of want to take this blood ghast, which I think I'm going to do. I'll let them have the Narc Amoeba. And then grab this blood ghast. The follow up one here is going to be pretty good for us. Two conflagrates is going to be a bit annoying. Okay, so if I block, you can get both of my creatures. So I can't block. So I should be attacking my Tarmogoyf. So now I've got to take this, go fetch another, I can just fetch a black land here. And then do my opponent's draw step again. I'm not gonna eat anything that my opponent dredges because I can't stop them from dredging. And I have to eat this conflagrate. Okay, so inside of my opponent's draw step, I will eat Conflagrate. So 
we can flash back their looting. Jeez. That's a beating. <laughs> We're not, it's not legal yet, Rob. I don't know what to eat now. I have conflagrate. I could eat this faithless looting. But then I can't block this. I'm going to eat the prize amalgam because if the prize amalgam is in the graveyard, I basically can't block this blood ghast. They get the faithless looting, which isn't great for me, but... They hit a chill. And another Narc Amoeba. Right? We're looking for... We can't even cast Anger of the Gods. I didn't think about that one. Vision of Green Block. Block here, take three. Next turn, get a Scavenging Ooze. Gain three life. Block now. I guess we can draw a third ooze now. Yeah, I still haven't got that figured out. But we can go like that and check it out. It's what I got the donation bar up here. The Barrero brothers are two Canadian wrestlers that I'm running a fundraiser for this month. Trying to get to $500. Well, I'm just dead on the board here. All right, I will scoop it up. I wonder if there was something different I could have done in that game. All right, let's go back to the deck here. Um, so uh, the deck do it's it's Jund, you know, like Jund is not necessarily the strongest deck anymore, but it. You know, it's fun to play. You just kind of do a little bit of everything, and I enjoy playing Jund. We got we went five and five tonight, which is probably a decent like my record for Jund. Not having played mid range in a, like this deck in a while, like I'm not going to do quite as good. Um, thank you, uh, thank you for donating, Brown C O O Bronco West Virginia University. Thank you for donating, giving a good cause. Uh, I'll be back Sunday. Reminder again, if you want to see one of your decks played on the stream, just donate to myself or donate to the Barrero Brothers and show me, give, send me a receipt. And we will, you know, put your deck list up here and we'll give your decks a try at only $10. So thank you all for showing up and I hope everyone has a great rest of the day.